Fate of the epicenter in Charlotte is up for the highest bid and wants a hot spot in Uptown. Crime and bad business decision has landed the epicenter in foreclosure. So what comes next for that piece of prime real estate? Queen City News anchor Annie Zatowski shows us what one potential buyer has planned for the space if he comes out on top. Annie? Yeah, so guys, this auction was actually pushed back, you might remember, from May when it was originally up for sale. So all of these potential buyers have had even more time to go ahead and get their ducks in a row to place their bids. Stephen Platt and 11 other members of his group were planning to bid back in May, and he says now they will be back again and try and seal up that deal. He says they'd likely keep the same idea of the epicenter as an entertainment district with lots of different restaurants, adding laser tag in too to make it a little bit more family friendly and they'll be keeping the movie theater and the bowling alley. Now while there will be a name change, the biggest thing that the group wants to bring back is a sense of safety and security in that space so everyone can enjoy it. Just have a good have a good time at just um, um, enjoying the city of Charlotte and that's the important part. Just coming up here with your family and new visitors or out of towners for conventions. They have a place to come and, and um, enjoy themselves, eat. So obviously this is an auction, so Stephen didn't want to tip his hand here, but his group says that they do plan to bid in the tens of millions of dollars range on that spot. Back to you guys. All right, Annie, thank you. And be sure to stay with Queen City News as we learn more about the future of the epicenter. Tomorrow's auction begins at 10 a.m. at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse, and we'll bring you live updates online. You can get those sent directly to your phone through the QC News app.